March 7th. On this day we celebrate the memory of the Holy Hierom Martyrs, bishops of Kherson, Ephraim, Basil, Eugenius, Agathodorus, Capito, Atherius, and Alpidius. In about the tenth year of Diocletian's reign, so about the year 300, the Holy Patriarch of Jerusalem, Hermon, sent missionary bishops as new apostles to preach the gospel in various countries, especially in the Crimea and the land of the Scythians. When St. Basil arrived in Kherson, he began at once to proclaim the good news to the idolaters, urging them to abandon their false gods and to embrace the path of virtue in order to gain eternal life. The pagans fell on him in fury, accusing him of seeking to overturn their traditions, and they chased him from the land with blows. The saint went thence and settled in a cave on Mount Parthenon, in which he prayed for the conversion of the infidel. The young son of the most important nobleman in Kherson had just died. That same night he appeared in a vision to his weeping parents, and he asked them to recall the missionary whom they had driven away, so that he would pray for him. As soon as the saint fell to prayer and sprinkled the child's body with holy water, the child was restored to life. His parents and all who were present came to believe in Christ, and they received holy baptism. But other hardened pagans, seeing with fear the growth of Christianity, seized hold of the holy bishop with the complicity of the Jews and dragged him at the rope's end through the streets and public places. Thus the holy martyr adorned the episcopal seat of Kherson with the first triumphal crown. St. Ephraim had been sent to Scythia, and he proclaimed Christ with assurance among the pagans everywhere he went. Captured by the idolaters and refusing to worship false gods, he was beheaded. It is said that a star appeared that same day over his holy relics that had been thrown onto a rubbish heap. A short time after this, new missionary bishops, Eugenius, Agathodorus and Elpidius, arrived in Kherson. They also received the crown of martyrdom exactly one year after the death of St. Basil. Several years later, in the reign of St. Constantine the Great, the Archbishop of Jerusalem sent St. Atherius to be the new Bishop of Kherson. Ascertaining the wildness of the inhabitants of this region, he travelled to Constantinople and he obtained official protection for the Christians. By the Holy Emperor's edict, the unbelievers were driven out of the city and it was possible to build the first Christian churches there. On the way back from a further journey to Constantinople, undertaken to thank St. Constantine for his goodness, St. Atherius was captured by pagans and he was thrown into the Danube. At the request of the Christians of Kherson, who had been left orphaned, the emperor sent them a new bishop, St. Capito. Welcomed by a large crowd on his arrival in the town, he was approached by some pagans who asked him to submit himself to trial by fire in order to prove the truth of his preaching. They all hurried to prepare a great pyre, and when it was lit, the holy bishop clad himself in all his episcopal vestments, and after long and silent prayer, ordered the deacon to cry out the liturgical exclamation, Let us give heed. He then went solemnly into the flames, and after a moment he came out unscathed with his felonian covered in burning cinders. The people then cried out with one voice, There is one God and one God alone, the God of the Christians who is great and glorious. And all the people received holy baptism. From that time on, the faith was confirmed without hindrance in this region. This miracle was related to the Holy Fathers of the First Council of Nicaea in 325. 
It is said that some years later, on a return voyage from Constantinople, St. Capito's sheep ran aground in the Dnieper estuary after a storm and that the saint was drowned by local pagans on December 22nd. Thee, O Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere present and fillest all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. traversed the gulf of the Red Sea dry shod. They turned back the might of Amalek in the wilderness by the hands of Moses, which formed the figure of the cross. O holy higher martyrs, intercede in our behalf. Since you stream with the divine outpourings of light, O higher martyrs, deliver from the murky mist of passions us who ever honor with piety this, your bright and light-bearing festival. Holy higher martyrs, pray to God for us. The incarnate word of God revealed you to be most glorious shepherds, that you might proclaim his divinity unto those in error, and in peril by ignorance, O righteous Father. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since you are holy, filled with the Spirit's life-creating streams, you have watered them, they were parched by the burning heat of grievous atheism, and you have guided them, O glorious fathers, to the water of salvation. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. By thine unfathomable giving of birth, the sentence against our first parents was annulled, O pure and immaculate virgin, and they received back the first entry into paradise while extolling thee with a great voice. Thy church rejoices in thee, O Christ our God, as she cries out in joy. Thou art my soul's steadfastness, my strength, and my refuge art thou, O Lord. O holy higher martyrs, pray to God for us. Thy mind aflame with the divine fire, O all-wise Basilius, 
Thou as an excellent shepherd didst burn up the substance of atheism. Holy Hiram martyrs, pray to God for us. With the light of the Spirit, O glorious fathers, you drew to the enlightenment of most sacred baptism them that were in calamitous darkness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Since thy paths were directed straight unto God, O Basileus, by grace they turned all men from the way of error unto divine knowledge. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Immaculate and all-pure Virgin, thou hast conceived the mighty Lord, who delivers mortals from the dominion of the enemy. With chrism sweet of scent, ye were anointed priests, O universal lights, martyrs extolled by all, becoming shepherds to a faithful people of godly wisdom. And as pure and spotless lambs ye were sacrificed for the word, brought to the chief shepherd Christ, who was sacrificed like a sheep. With longing then we all keep a feast day upon your divine and sacred memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou as a vine untilled, O Virgin, broughtest forth that ripe and beautiful cluster in our behalf, which doth abundantly pour forth the sweet wine of our salvation, truly making glad the souls and the bodies of all mankind. Wherefore, as we call thee blessed as the cause of our every good, we ever cry to thee like the angel, Rejoice, so full of grace. When the church beheld thee, the Son of Righteousness lifted up upon a cross, she stood still in her course, crying, as was meet, Glory to thy power, O Lord. O holy higher martyrs, pray to God for us. Let the most sacred choir of martyrs be praised, for it is made splendid with the grace of the priesthood and of martyrdom, and sings in gladness glory to thy power, O Lord. O holy higher martyrs, pray to God for us. Ephraim and Agathodorus, Basileus, Capito, Eugene, Elpidius, and the divine Atherius were shown in the Holy Spirit to be God-bearing helmsmen of the Church. Holy Hiram Martyrs, pray to God for us. Initiated into the divine of divine fathers, you verily shepherded the people in holiness and righteousness, and received a blessed end through martyrdom. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. They that were dead in unbelief have attained to eternal life through the arising of him who died, coming to faith in Christ our God through thee, O most sacred martyr Basilius. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Thou dost quicken slain mankind, O virgin, when thou gavest birth past understanding to the antipostatic life, Christ our God, who became man out of compassion. Thou, my Lord, art come a light into the world, a holy light, turning from dark ignorance them that praise thee with faith. O holy higher martyrs, pray to God for us. We drink the cup of August martyrdom, O God-bearing fathers, while faithfully calling upon the name of the Lord. O holy higher martyrs, pray to God for us. He who alone breathes resurrection upon the dead, who raises up by thine entreaty, him that was dead, O Basilius, making thy preaching illustrious. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Declaring the Son, who is of equal honor with the Father, 
You abated the polytheistic tyranny of idol madness, O Father. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the people that knows thee to be the mother of the master of all, O all blameless one, and that with longing does call thee blessed. I will sacrifice unto thee with a voice of praise, O Lord. Thus cries the church unto thee, for by the blood that flowed from thy side because of thy compassion, she has been cleansed of demon's core. O holy horror martyrs, pray to God for us. Let us crown with praises Agathodorus and Eugene and the great Basilius and wise Elpidius, the higher arts and noble martyrs. Holy horror martyrs, pray to God for us. Nurtured on the Spirit's ordinances, O all wise martyrs, you establish saving laws for the lawless, and you draw them on to the light of piety. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You are nurslings of various cities, but shepherds of one people, and heirs of the divine city, wherein the martyrs dwell, attending upon God. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The shadows of the law and the dark sayings of the prophets prefigured thee, O all blameless virgin, whose ineffable conception saved the world from ruin. Nurtured on the Spirit's ordinances, O all wise martyrs, ye established saving laws for the lawless, and ye drew them unto the light of piety. Aflame with the love of piety rather than with fire, the Abrahamite children in the Persian furnace cried out, Blessed art thou in the temple of thy glory, O Lord. O holy hieromartyrs, pray to God for us. Rejoicing, thou didst enter into the furnace, O Father Capito, and didst remain unburned, like the three children, drawing the unbelievers from the fire that is to come when they were brought to faith by thy divine miracle. Holy Hiram Martyrs, intercede in our behalf. Not cowering, nor afraid of the command, O sacred Father Capito, clothed with thy sacred vesture, O blessed one, thou didst carry coals of fire therein. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Thou didst check the force of ignorance with thy divine words, setting forth the knowledge of piety for all that had slipped to the depth of vanity, O God-inspired and sacred minister Capitol. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Wishing to refashion all men, O maiden, the word of God who is of one throne with the Father and the Spirit, who with his hand fashioned Eve, was fashioned in thy womb, receiving a beginning. When Daniel stretched out his hands in the den, he shut the gaping mouths of the lions, and the children, those lovers of piety, who were girt about with virtue, quenched the might of fire as they cried, O all ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O holy hire martyrs, pray to God for us. When you were put to death by the pains of the flesh, you became the cause of immortal life for all that served dead gods, O righteous fathers, and they who were saved with you ever cry out, O all you works of the Lord, bless you the Lord. O holy hire martyrs, pray to God for us. With one voice, O you faithful, let us sing of Eugene and Agathodorus, Ephraim, Alpidius, and Atherius, Basileus, and Capito, as destroyers of the enemy and hierarchs of Christ, on to whom we cry, O all you works, praise you the Lord. Holy Hiram Martyrs, pray to God for us. Of the gladdening peoples with thy teachings, O wise Father, thou hast now passed over to the unwaning illumination and gladness everlasting, receiving the rewards for thy labors and crying. O all you works, praise you the Lord. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Since you are now clusters of the vine of life, O most blessed of men, 
you make the wine of healings to gush forth continually, and you make glad the hearts of all who faithfully acclaim you and cry, O all you works, praise you the Lord. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Transcendent in essence was seen as a man born of thee, O Immaculate Virgin, twofold in nature and energy and will, having will to be manifest unto those whose likeness he assumed. O unto him we cry, O all you works, praise you the Lord. When Christ, the chief cornerstone, not cut by the hand of man, was cut from thee, the unhewn mountain, O virgin, he joined together the separated natures. Wherefore we magnify thee with rejoicing, O Theotokos. O holy Hiram Martyrs, pray to God for us. As we celebrate the sacred memorial of the holy Hiram Martyrs, come with a great voice. Let us all honor them with sacred hymns. They intercede with the all merciful God in our behalf. Holy Hiram Martyrs, pray to God for us. You appeared as precious stones dragged upon the earth by the godless or divine martyrs. And by the strength of God you crushed the strongholds of delusion. Wherefore, you are worthily called blessed. Holy Hiram Martyrs, pray to God for us. Today, the city of Kherson celebrates your memorial, for you proved to be her towers and divine pillars and fortresses, shepherds and teachers, and divinely blessed intercessors. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Already Eugene, Ephraim, and Capito, Alpidius, and Atherius, and the glorious Basileus, and godly-minded Agathodorus, that choir of fathers have been numbered with the choirs of angels. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. While holding in her arms Christ, who holds all things in his hand, the maiden grace of God, cried out in astonishment, saying, How is it that I know thee to be both my son and my maker, O incomprehensible one? Since thou hast given us the miracles of thy holy martyrs as an invincible battlement, by their entreaties scatter the counsels of the heathen, O Christ our God, and strengthen the faith of orthodox Christians, since thou alone art good and the friend of man. Wisdom, most holy mother of God, save us. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, thee who without corruption gave us birth to God the word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Glory to you, Christ God, O hope, glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, bless. May Christ, O true God, the prayers of his holy and all pure mother, with the prayers of St. John the Baptist, of the holy and all praised apostles, with the power and under the protection of the holy life-giving cross, and all the holy bodiless powers of heaven, and the prayers of all fathers among the saints, Ninian and Cuthbert, the bishops of God, Cisoes the Great of Egypt, Brandon the Navigator, Oron of Iona, Columba of Iona, Kenneth, Ronan, Molwag, all the saints of all these islands, protectors of our monastery and our community. With the prayers of the Holy Hiram Martyrs and Bishops of Kherson, Ephraim, Basileus, Eugene, Agathodorus, Elpidius, Capito, and Etherius. With the prayers of the saints Nestor and Arcadius, Bishops of Trimithus, with the prayers of St. Ephraim, Patriarch of Antioch, reposed in peace. With the prayers of our righteous father, Lawrence, founder of the sacred monastery on the Isle of Salamina. With the prayers of St. Dafer, St. Estewine of Wormoth, and St. Anadoc, and those with them whose memory we keep this day. With the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim, and Anna, and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us. He is good 
and he loves mankind. Amen. The prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.